accessories and software. An accessory package is non-existent with the MP500. We received a paper manual with contact information for support services. The Corsair SSD toolbox will eventually work with the Force Series MP500, but currently, users do not get access to all the features with this series. We expect Corsair will update the SSD toolbox software in the near future to support more features, and hopefully give the aging software a facelift at the same time. Packaging and a closer look. The Force Series MP500 ships in a very small package that isn't much larger than a 2.5-inch HDD. M.2 SSDs are smaller than typical SSDs, so the package can be smaller while still providing adequate protection for the product inside. As we mentioned, Corsair used a custom black PCB. This is a first for a Fisandy 7 based M.2 SSD that we know of. The overall layout of components appears the same as the other E7 SSDs we've tested in the M.2 form factor. Every capacity uses a double-sided version of the 2280 form factor. This may cause installation issues in some early Nth-enabled notebooks, but all the modern designs seem to work fine with the extra thickness. It's a strange world we live in when we consider the sticker a component worthy of discussion. There are at least 4 to 5 layers to the controller side sticker. The copper layer rests just one layer away from the controller, Dramen and Flash packages. The E7 controller uses a flip chip design that is very, very small. It can generate a lot of heat, but there is very little surface area available for thermal dissipation. This drive has shipped in a couple of configurations. Our samples use Toshiba 15 nanometers MLC flash packaged by a third party. We've seen other drives ship with NAN packaged by Toshiba with traditional Toshiba model numbers. All the drives should use Toshiba 15 nanometers MLC regardless of the package. Pricing and warranty. The Force Series MP500 is an expensive NVM SSD compared to the other PS5077 M.2 products. At the time of writing, the 480GB retails $324.99 at Newegg. That is nearly $125 more than the MyDigitalst BPX 480GB we gave a glowing review just two months ago. The drive is even $5 more than the Samsung 960 Pro 512GB. Moving down the capacity line, the MP500 240GB sells for $169.99 and the 120GB model is $109.99. Both also cost considerably more than existing Fison based NVM SSDs. Corsair covers the Force Series MP500 with a paltry 3 year warranty and the standard write endurance limits. The warranty allows for up to 640 terabytes of data writes for the 480 gigabytes model. That drops to 349 terabytes and 175 terabytes for the two smaller capacity drives.